On this video, we're gonna talk about the top five things they need to do to prepare for deployment. Check this out. Now, before I start, keep in mind that the higher you are in Echelon, the more rumors and information you'll hear regarding a deployment. However, don't make any irreversible decisions based off of rumors. Now, let's get started. Number five. Find out as much information as you can, such as a warnal, who, what, where, when, why, and also determine whether or not you are qualified for the position in the MTO that they're projecting to deploy, and also if you're medically deployable. You'll know this information based off of your last PHA, whether or not you're, the, you're medically deployable. And then from that point, start making a tentative plan. Now, these are all plans that you're making ahead about who gets impacted by uh, you leaving, or the things that you need to take care of in the process of getting mobilized. Number four. Talk with your family members and let them know that there are rumors or discussions about deployment but also be very clear with them that there's nothing official, that there are no rosters, and let them know whether or not your unit is even scheduled to be on that deployment or be tapped in for that deployment. Be clear with them, be open with them. Also, make sure that you exercise OPSEC and have a tentative plan and start having discussions about what are the things that you may need to do or your family will need to do or adjust and how well it will impact your life if you do get mobilized. Now don't freak anyone out because at this point you don't know if you're getting deployed, your unit may not know you're getting deployed, and nothing's official unless there's an actual warno. Number three. Now once there's an actual warno and it's official that your unit will be tapped for deployment, keep in mind that at that point, you are still not guaranteed to be deployed. But this is the time where you start gathering your personal documents, such as legal documents, bills, family care plan. I put a great uh, checklist on the descriptions below. Check out the link, and it gives you an excellent pre-deployment checklist. So these are the things that you wanna start preparing yourself and gathering to make your transition to mobilization easier. And also help you with the SRP process as you start filling out your paperwork. Number two. Now we're getting serious. We move past the warno, you have received orders to mobilize at this point, and you know that you are on the roster. Once again, it's not 100% guarantee that you'll be deploying forward. However, you are on the hook and you are one of the people that are in the primary positions to fill a slot for deployment. So now this is where you start sitting down with your power of attorney, having serious discussions about things that needs to happen as you mobilize and as you push forward. Describe to them exactly the details and ins and outs of your personal life that they'll need to take care of while you're forward. Because when you're gone, you won't be able to take care of your personal matters and they will have to speak or act on your behalf while you're gone. You may not have access to phone, you may not have access to email for extended periods of time, so make sure that you find somebody you trust, go over your tentative plan with them, have a discussion, answer questions, and make yourself available. This is a time that could be extremely stressful between you and your power of attorney, which most likely will be your significant other, especially if you've never gone through it before. So be patient, make sure you provide as much information as you can. Once again, ensure that you uh, exercise OPSEC, but provide as much information regarding your personal life that they'll need to take care of. While you're still here, before you mobilize, have them start doing some of the tasks that you normally would do. That way, when you transition forward, they're more familiar with the process and they'll have fewer questions. As part of this step, right, as soon as you find out that you are officially on a roster to be mobilized forward uh, through an official warno or an official order, at that point, you need to notify your, your employer because they need to make a plan as well to how they're gonna fill in the void while you're gone. Work with them, be patient with them, give them as much information as you can so they're aware of your situation. However, once again, exercise OPSEC. Number one, number one. Now this is the final step before you deploy forward. This is actually the final step before you go to your pre-deployment training. You need to ensure you consolidate all of your bills, that you make all necessary cancellations, move your personal belongings from areas that are temporary, uh, that you, you won't be occupying while you're gone, make all your reservations, make all your appointments, notify all your financial institutions, the fact that you're being deployed and that orders are forthcoming. This is also where you finalize your tentative plan and answer any questions at this point have you been following the guide all the way through your power of attorney will have had executed some of your tasks uh, on your behalf while you were there 
And at this point, this is where you start answering some of the questions or maybe refining some of the plans that you're, you had in place when you're preparing for the mobilization. Keep in mind that once deployment is over, your life needs to go back to the way that it used to be, if not better, right? But these things only happen if you prepare well for it. Good luck if you are you know, attached to a deployment or you're hearing about future deployments. Make good plans, make smart decisions, ensure that you're talking with your family regularly, and as always, exercise good OPSEC. Check out my other videos uh, on retirement and promotion. Also, check me out on social at Part Time First Sergeant with a hashtag Drill Weekend, and let's continue this conversation. Thank you.